All right, now we can start blocking in those upper arms. Actually, we might be able to get the full arm. But we want to think about the triceps and how there's kind of a band of tendon that surrounds the elbow. So as we think about the triceps, we to think about how that kind of folds around the side of the arm and ends up coming down into the elbow. So as I'm working, I'm really constantly checking reference images to look for the flow and just try to see around the model and, you know, kind of figure out where things are supposed to be going. So it's a really kind of fluid process where I'll sculpt a little bit and then smooth a little bit and then I'll go back to sculpting and back to smoothing back and forth until it just kind of feels like the muscles are all flowing where they're supposed to flow. So when something doesn't seem quite right, just kind of smooth it back out. The biceps is actually made of two muscle masses, even though it's not usually all that noticeable. So really like the same with the biceps here. You know, I'm checking reference images and seeing how that split between the two chunks of bicep muscle actually work and how they insert into the elbow, well, the pit of the elbow. So, you know, we'll tend to over sculpt and then smooth it back out, over sculpt and smooth it back out. And by doing that, again, you just end up blocking in the mass of the muscle without worrying too much about detail. Now, there's a muscle on the side of the arm that wraps kind of around the side of the elbow and inserts up into the side of the arm. So now as we're just blocking, we're not worried about any really amazing detail, but we do want to start really figuring out where those masses of the arms actually sit. That way when we get into the detail area, we've got our basics kind of set up for us. So again, as I check reference images and really see where the muscles of the forearm are flowing, I'm just trying to block in the overall shape and mass and figure out how it moves around the arm. So a little smaller brush, we'll just dig in along the side of some of those muscles to kind of deepen the crease between things. Now as we get down into the area of the forearm here, we've got our gauntlet on our arm. We've got to be careful we don't sculpt too much detail right up next to that. Again, always checking those reference images to try to see where the major masses of muscle really do flow around the arm. I mean, it's not that anything here is going to be absolutely perfect. But we want a sense of believability, so we do want to make sure we're using a lot of reference images. Always checking the flow. Got to make sure you look around the whole mesh to see how and where things are supposed to flow. And once most of those muscle masses are kind of filled in, you can start to figure out where the details go. We are going to want to look here. I'm going to grab a little bit of this part of that object and move it around just a little bit. Yeah, that should work. 
Alright, so it's pretty good for the arms. Definitely feels like there's some underlying muscle structure there now. 